saw a question pop up here on the one of the various podcast Facebook groups that we're in. Uh, that so many people seem to be asking for questions and feedback regularly, which is awesome. A uh, question about subscribers. Is it possible to see how many subscribers your podcast has? If so, how is that possible? Where is the metric? What are the numbers? Et cetera, et cetera. Um, this has been a topic of debate for a while in podcasting because obviously subscribers are a great metric for your show, if not the best metric for your show, but there is no way to tell how many subscribers you have. Um, Apple released new analytics found in their podcasts connect, which is their back end of, um, their back end of iTunes where you submit your show. There's analytics in there now. Um, people were hoping and praying and wishing and dreaming that they were going to add subscriber information since, you know, you subscribe on iTunes. So Apple is the one that has that info. Um, it doesn't say subscriptions. It doesn't say subscribers on the new analytics platform, which is unfortunate, there are a few ways to get close and estimate subscribers that you have. So the big, one of the big changes that they did release with these Apple analytics here in Podcast Connect is it tells you the, the devices that are listening to your show. So it'll actually tell you the number of different devices that have listened to your podcast. Now, that doesn't mean that they're subscribed. It just means that that's how many iPhones tuned in to your show per episode or the show in general. Um, one thing to note is with the new analytics platform, it's only tracking things in iOS 11. So if anyone that's listening to your show, first of all, take your entire audience. They're listening on your website, on your iTunes, on Spotify, Google Play, all these places. Narrow that down to the people that are listening to Apple Podcasts on their iPhones and narrow that down one step further to people that are listening with the iOS 11 update, which means they have the new version of Apple Podcasts. That is the number that's coming into the Apple Analytics on the back end there in Podcast Connect. So it's not your full audience. Um, so you very well may have a lot of people that haven't updated their phones yet, but are still listening to your show. So you may only be seeing half the number or even less than that or more than that. So keep that in mind when you're listening to it. So you can see the number of devices that are listening to your podcast. Yes, it doesn't mean subscribers and it's not the full picture because you're only seeing iOS 11 people. Um, for a long time, and what people are still doing is kind of gauging subscriptions based on the average number of listens for every episode that you have. So if you go into your host, like Lipson or Blueberry or whoever you're hosting with, um, if you look at the number of downloads per episode, for episodes that have been out for, I think Rob Walsh from Libsyn usually says 45 days or more. So you take the number of downloads for an episode at 45 days after release. See what that number is for all of your episodes or for like the last 15 or 20. And the average number of those is the closest metric that you're going to get to finding the amount of subscribers. Because if you're getting... Let's say just for example, you're getting exactly a thousand plays, uh, excuse me, a thousand downloads for every episode for the past 50 episodes. That's pretty clearly saying that a thousand people are listening to all of your episodes. So again, it doesn't say exactly that they're all subscribed to the show. Um, but if, as you know, on your phone, if you're subscribed to a podcast, when a new episode comes out, for most apps, unless people have changed their settings, it will download that episode automatically. So you release a new episode, you see a thousand people download that episode almost right away. You can tell pretty closely that those a thousand people that are subscribed to your show, their devices are getting that information as soon as you publish an episode. It's all coming and getting downloaded at the same time. So unfortunately, that's the closest that we're going to get for now. Um, if you're looking at the Apple Analytics on the back end, you will notice that it does say beta on there. So they are testing things out. This is the first version that we are getting. So perhaps they will be changing this, giving us a new version of it. Um, and maybe they will add subscriber information then. We don't really know. And with as long as it took Apple to get this analytics platform out there after the WWDC announcement last June, not to mention iOS 11 with the new app, it's still not functioning as intended. Um, the main spot being if your podcast is listed as episodic in the Apple Podcast app, you're supposed to, you know, remember the uh, Apple asked to remove the episode numbers from the title itself, put it in the tags, but 
the tags aren't showing up as intended on the Apple Podcast app. So that's one big thing. And there are a few other things that are not working. So if we consider that, you know, it took them forever to get this out iOS 11 app is still not working as it's supposed to be. Who knows when they're going to give us a non-beta, like an upgraded version of the Apple Analytics. Who knows if it's going to include subscribers. Um, we're kind of at the mercy of Apple if they're going to give that information up, which is unfortunate. So just wanted to respond to um, one question that I see pop up all the time. Who are my subscribers? How can I tell? The unfortunate answer is that you cannot. 